How's it going guys? It's been a minute, but what better way to be back than with an unboxing of not one, but two iPhone 13 Pro Maxes. We'll start off with a space grey, and this year Apple have decided not to put any plastic on the outside of their boxes, presumably to reduce environmental impact, but it means that your box may get scuffed up like my one here. The Sierra Blue box, however, is in perfect condition. We've got two tabs to rip open before we can get into the box. The tape this year is now internal rather than sitting on the outside. Apparently they've done this to make the boxes harder to fake. Pulling off the top, we can get into the box and that graphite in person isn't as dark as it looks on Apple's website or the box. Lifting up the phone, we'll set this aside and come back to it later. My first impression of handling the phone was that it feels so premium and hefty. Now inside the little packet, we get the SIM injection tool, some random paperwork that no one ever reads, and an Apple sticker. We also get that infamous lightning to USB cable inside the box that no one has an adapter for. Now let's peel off the protective paper off the screen and I put on a screen protector off screen because this isn't a review unit and will cost an arm and a leg to fix if it breaks. The setup process is pretty standard. I haven't had an iPhone in about seven years and the process is still so similar. And that's it for the space gray one guys. There's so much to like about this phone, so much to talk about, but we'll save it for the review. Now let's unbox the Sierra Blue. This is actually my sister's phone, so it's only fair if she cracks it open. The text on the sides of the box on the blue model are in blue, which is a nice touch. A big selling point of this year's iPhones is the camera system. After using these phones for a few days, they're honestly super impressive. To give you guys an idea of their quality, I've chucked in some footage in cinematic mode towards this end part of the video. So look out for the text in the top left. The rest of this video are filmed on a Nikon D5100 with a 50mm f1.8 prime lens. So you guys can see how the cinematic mode compares with a DSLR. Like the space grey, the blue is also a little bit lighter in person than the pictures you'll see of it. And that's both iPhones unboxed. Now let's take a look at some photos. I've selected the vibrant photo styles option, but otherwise the photos are completely unedited. But that's it for this video guys, stay tuned for the full review and I'll catch you guys in the next one.